Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzard Roost. I am Buzzard, and I've done a, my three-day get-home bag. I figure I'd do my six-plus get-home bag, and my little man here, my youngest one, say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's going to help handle some of this stuff. Let me show you the bag first. This is a full size, large military ruck. Thank you. It weighs 46 pounds. I weighed it today to make sure. So. Dad, do you need your coffee? Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, we'll start with my bedroll. Got my wool blanket. Got this, it's like a felt. Uh, one of the things I like about it is that in a winter situation, I could actually turn it wrong side out and it would blend in a lot better on, a say, a snowy snowy time a year. We all need one? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, on my one of my side bags, got a mini Sawyer. I got one in each bag, and all my kids have one in their bags. Uh, I would highly recommend getting one for all your bags and all your family members. Got my headlamp here. It actually works really good. The batteries last a long time in it. Uh, I actually had to put that back in my bag because I was using it. An awl and the cordage for the awl needles all store in the handle. This is real good for if you have to sew something up. It's heavy duty. If you've ever tried to push a regular needle through heavy fabric, you end up poking your finger more than you do the fabric. And this will keep you from doing that. One liter bottle of water. This is my little cook set. I need to put something in here to keep it from banging. But anyway, this is uh, probably close to a liter. It may be a quart. Anyway, uh, single walled container. It can be put on the fire full of water. If you got a container that holds water, it should have water in it. Here's the handle. But you can stick down in top, put it on and off the fire. Comes with a little cooking pot cup, which the handle also fits in it. It also comes with a little lid, and the bag it comes in. Here's one of the knives that I would actually put on my side or on my front strap. Uh, I had to redo the handle on it, so I put these divots in here to use for a socket point for a bow drill. Uh, it holds a decent edge, and he's actually used it whenever he went on his Cub Scout camping trip. all that's in that side. Let's get on this side. This is the other side of my bag or one of my side pockets. A pair of gloves. They're got the rubber coated palms and fingers on it. Uh, it'd be good for round camp. Wipes. 
my next youngest son's girlfriend got this for me. Uh, cordage, paracord. I love the way it's tied up. I need to learn how to do it like this. Uh, I'd probably end up tying most of mine up like this. This here has toothbrush, little notepad, some pencils, little pen light with extra batteries, uh, a little bit of toothpaste, some dental floss, bar of soap. This here is a little clear uh, poncho and a little emergency blanket. Uh, these have been in every pack I've ever had. They've been around. They've been around for a long time. This here, I've got some rubber bands, a little bit of candle wax, cordage, some more floss, can of Zippo lighter fluid. Um, that's my youngest daughter there. Some black tape in my three-day bag. Uh, I had a security perimeter. There's a couple of them in there. 55 gallon uh, heavy mill trash can li or barrel liners. Uh, good for a uh, multitude of things that you can use for that. I carry tent stakes. It's I prefer these because it holds the tarps down better. Another liter of water. A couple of files. You get to hear my clock. And that's all that's in that part. In my backpack flap here, we got some zip ties. I'll show you what these are used for in a little bit. This here is an old antenna off of a pair of rabbit ears. Crimp the back a little bit so that it wouldn't fall out. Uh, use this to kind of stoke the fire, get it started where you don't have to get right down on it. Uh, I've actually used arrows when I've been bow hunting and use the arrows, pull the ends out, use it to start the fire with. I got two small tarps. I got two pieces of foil folded up. Uh, they're 18 inches wide, about five feet long each of them. Uh, it's heavy duty foil. I get it at Sam's in the big rolls. That's all that's in that part. Now the main compartment. I got a military, the old uh, woodland camo. It's a poncho. It's also considered a half shelter along with the other one. If I'm with someone or I've got one of my kids with me, I have both bags with me. You can actually make an entire shelter out of that. dry bag. I keep, or in this bag, I keep my clothes in a dry bag. Uh, what many people don't realize is that most backpacks are not waterproof. Unless you buy it specifically to be a waterproof bag, they're not waterproof. Uh, in here, I got in a Ziploc bag, or a vacuum bag, I got a long sleeve camo shirt, schmog, if you want you can just set that on the floor, that, that stuff there, pair of wool gloves, pair of wool socks, these are the cold weather military, <coughs> excuse me, Military woodland camo, uh, like I said, cold weather. They are water resistant. I don't know if they're waterproof or not. 
toboggan. Uh, kind of a like a neck shield that goes over your head. Uh, a couple pair of cotton socks. You could actually use these to pre-filter water. Uh, yeah. Since I'd be wearing the wool ones. I've got a lighter in there with uh, duct tape, Gorilla tape wrapped around it. Waterproof matches. Another pair of wool socks. Hey, Dad. On the wool gloves, what are these? Like? It's got little rubber dots on it to make it where you grip stuff better. Oh. Yeah. So I'll show you what these are for. This is a little, like a sterno can. Comes apart like that, and then you put it up there. Anyway, I figured it'd be good for inside the tent, uh, so you wouldn't have to make a campfire. Like I said, it'd be good for inside the tent. Cook your meal with it. Now these are figure these are figure four deadfall traps. Um, I guess I can take it apart and show you real quick. Maybe. I really like these. They can also be designed to be hung or for like a snare trap or a snare trigger. I haven't actually used these for in real life. Uh, I've made deadfall, figure four deadfall traps before and they work just fine. I like them. A little cooking pan. As you can tell, it does get used. Uh, I've used several items out of this bag, but this is one of the little Cub Scout ones. It no longer has the top on it, the bowl. And then I got a sewing kit in here, variety of needles, safety pins, little multi tool scissors, razor blade knife, and uh, sewing thread. Toilet paper. When the toilet paper runs out or the wipes runs out, you can use the other. I took the cardboard out of them so they'd smash down better. I didn't vacuum seal it as good, or it came undone, so I'll have to re vacuum seal this to get it a little more compact. My fishing kit, noodles, some bait, uh, hooks, sinkers, bobbers. Got a little yo-yo in here. I'd like to get some more of them. Uh, I actually used them when I was a kid and it frees up your time. Now most people carry a little axe with them which is fine by me but I would rather carry a little bow saw. It's actually compact Slides right down in the corner. I got three blades for it, so I could actually use it to saw small trees down, make a shelter and stuff like that. So that's what I carry instead of an axe. Uh, for smaller work, that's what the knives are for. Okay, that's all that's in that part. You know you can see you in the reflection. That's my next youngest daughter. <laughs> Is that my little dance? Okay. 
food. Um, I, I showed you the water. Do what? Can you shut my door? Yeah. You already seen the water I carry, my capabilities of making more water. These are a couple of the MREs, main course that they didn't eat, vegetarian taco pasta. I don't know if I like them, I've never tried them, but if you're hungry, it ought to be good. Instant coffee, and then I got these like tea bag coffees. Can't have enough coffee. Speaking of which, tuna individually served serving packs. Uh, there's 12 packs in this bag. That would give me 12 meats. For 12 meals. Now my little guy here, he doesn't like tuna. So I got some Spam. And if he's not with me, I'll eat Spam too. <laughs> peanut butter. You cannot get more calorie dense than peanut butter. At least not that I know of. Uh, this is a 48 ounce jar pretty heavy, but it's worth it for its uh, calorie denseness. Okay, on a previous video, on food storage, I showed you how I use the smaller ones for my get home bags. These three here are instant pancake mix. And it's just add water. Yeah, I know. She's trying to get you to laugh on film or on camera. Anyway, uh, like I said, good breakfast, good bread. Got a dozen packages of hot chocolate. In this one here, I got 12 bags, 2 cups per bag, so this bag will actually make 4 cups of rice. I've got 12 of them in here. Now when I go through all 12 of these, I'll refill them up with this bottle here and then use this bottle for more water. So I've, like I said, I've got at least 20 days worth of food in here. Oh, eating that much protein, I carry some of this, Marilax and Benefiber. Uh, I've been on high protein before and you gotta have this if you're not used to it. This here, my son that's in the uh, reserves, he saves these for me. These are little heat packs that come with MREs. That's enough. Heat packs that, that you heat your food up with. If you didn't wanna make a fire, you could actually use it to heat the water. If you saved these here and cleaned them out as good as you could, you could actually put the stuff in here, the rice and the water, drop it down in there and heat it up so you wouldn't have to use a... They can see you holding the paper right there. Anyway... He saves these for me. I keep them in the pack, like I said. If you're trying to get somewhere back home or your bug out, instead of making a campfire and drawing attention to yourself, you could use this stuff here 
or like this here. And then you can make them into bombs, like like stick. Yeah, because it puts out hydrogen gas. Yeah, and make them into bombs. But anyway, that's all I've got in my pack, which is quite a bit. Like I said, the pack weighs 46 pounds. Over half of that is in food and water. Um, so that's my get home bag or my bug out bag for six plus days. Anyway, on another note, I had my consultation with uh, Bear Independent. If you are not on Patreon or if you don't follow him on Patreon, uh, it's worth every penny. The man is very knowledgeable. Uh, I have zero experience in starting a business. <clears throat> and the ideals I had, he enhanced them tenfold. So, Bear Independent on Patreon... It's well worth it. You get a if you're a twenty dollar or higher a month Patreon, you get a fifteen minute consult for the twenty. Uh, I think it's forty five minutes for the next level up, and I don't know. You can go there and you can look it up. It'll give you exact prices on it. But like I said, it's well worth it. And if you follow any other YouTubers, and they have a Patreon page. Uh, I strongly suggest join them. It costs you a dollar a month at the least. And a lot of them have higher tiers that you can go on which have additional benefits. Anyway, today is the 8th. The 8th. January 8th, 2019. This is Buzzard. See ya.